this 12 year oh this this case which i was talking about this la county case married 12 years the other issue was they didn't want spouse support so we already talked about having to do the waiver language for the spouse support and they each were keeping their own pensions um and so this would seem so i made a comment this would seem like an easy case for someone to do on their own but in actuality you'd never get this through the court because you wouldn't know how to get the court to approve the zero child support the zero spouse support on the long-term marriage and you may even have issues with the property division because you might leave them out. So a lot of mistakes that will happen here is people will tell me, Tim, we have an easy divorce. We want no spouse support, no child support, each keep our own assets and debts. And it sounds like that would be amicable or easy. And it is easy. It is easy for me to do those cases because I've been doing them over and over and over again for the last 12 years. But if you tried to do that on your own and you said no child support and you filled out the petition wrong, your judgment's never going to get approved. You're never going to know the language to put in there for the reserved jurisdiction on child support. You're never going to have the language, um, know the language for the long-term spouse support waiver. So while it sounds easy, it's highly technical still to get those approved by the court. And what the other mistake people would make will make on their pensions or 401ks is they will say, well, we're each keeping our own. So we're not going to list them on the agreement because we're keeping our own. And then they'll go to retire and they'll say, okay, show us your divorce decree. They'll see that it wasn't addressed in the, in the um, settlement agreement or the judgment. And they'll assume community property uh, laws apply and they'll freeze your account and assuming your spouse is getting 50% because that's the rule. So there, if you're keeping 100% of your own pension 401k, make sure you include that in the settlement agreement.